distinguished guests, esteemed colleagues, and fellow visionary leaders. Standing before you all today at the World Government Summit, I'm not only filled with personal pride, but also a profound sense of purpose and humility. This summit, transcending its traditional role as a global platform, has become a unique space, not just for sharing ideas, but for actively listening and deeply understanding diverse perspectives. The years I've served as a Minister of Planning and Economic Development has instilled me a profound lesson. Planning is not about dictating the future, but it is about embracing all its dynamic complexity. It's not a rigid mold we force upon our communities as each community has its own unique needs, aspirations, and most importantly, challenges. Effective planning requires active listening to the voices of citizens, engaging with diverse stakeholders, and fostering a true culture of collaboration. It requires a true understanding of the hopes and concerns of our citizens, and even the unspoken truth of our communities. What drives their aspirations? What fuels their worries? Ultimately, the true test of planning lies in its inclusivity and adaptability, catering to the diverse needs of all members of society. The world we navigate today is not one of predictable cycles and annual milestones. It's a world where lived experiences of community not just year by year, but also day by day. The rapid pace of change fueled by economic, social, and geopolitical forces demands a radical shift in our approach to planning. The COVID-19 pandemic serves as a stark reminder of this need. It exposed the fragility of our systems and the devastating consequences of being unprepared for the unexpected. According to OECD indicators, the financing gap for achieving sustainable development goals for most of the developing countries, like poverty reduction and clean energy, increased to reach 3.9 trillion US dollar in 2020, a 56% increase due to the pandemic and other geopolitical challenges. This shortage of available finance creates an uneven playing field. Countries with flexible and participatory governance structures are better equipped to weather the storms and adapt to structural changes. Fellow visionary leaders, effective planning serves as the cornerstone of fostering resilience in our world, rooted in several critical parameters and fundamental elements. First, Egypt's national planning emphasizes a more inclusive and participatory approach recognizing the role of all stakeholders in shaping the nation's future. At the heart of this new paradigm lies the motion of shared ownership. The government is playing a vital role in facilitating, coordinating, and synthesizing, acting as a connector and not a conductor. It creates platforms for dialogue and collaboration, bringing together the private sector, the civil society, organizations, think tanks, community groups, and individual citizens. More than just a national plan, Egypt's Vision 2030 is aligned with the Sustainable Development Goal and with the Africa Agenda 2063. Stretches beyond yearly targets. It's a dynamic roadmap, adapting to local needs and challenges, reflecting the heartbeat of the communities it serves. Second, prioritizing data, gathering Data gathering plays a crucial role in achieving development impact, evidenced by automation and digitalization of the birth and death registration system. More than 4,600 offices have been digitized. This initiative serves multiple purposes with far-reaching implications for development and economic progress. Accurate birth and death data provide a clear picture of the population growth in each and every single governorate. Of course, the population in Egypt is a pressing challenge with our, our, our population outpacing sometimes our economic growth in some years. 
The local development census is another data-driven initiative, goes a step further by measuring development gaps in every village. It pinpoints areas requiring targeted interventions, ensuring equitable progress across the nation. Precise data empowers policymakers to allocate the resources efficiently, and the effectiveness of the data-driven approach is evident in several key publications like our Human Capital Index, the Human Development Index, and of course, the Sustainable Development uh, Goals reports. Third, effective national planning hinges on robust monitoring system. No planning without monitoring. Providing real data and actionable insights to guide decision making and course correction. In the digital age, harnessing technology offers unprecedented opportunities to create comprehensive, efficient, and transparent monitoring system. This approach is exemplified by Egypt Impact Lab, which spearheads the development of evidence-based policies and improved development outcomes of Egyptians. The lab leverages the digital solution to strengthen evidence-based policy, collaborating not only the government. This is not an impact lab for the government. The government is not the only person that provides data. Data is being provided by NGOs, by private sector, and by think tanks to design, implement, and evaluate our interventions. Fourth, data-driven insights can help allocate scarce resources more efficiently by identifying gaps with, and areas with greatest needs, moving towards a citizen-centric and bottom-up approach to development. <coughs> this bottom-up strategy aims to ensure that national planning is informed by diverse needs and aspirations of all citizens, particularly those residing in hard-to-reach villages and areas. We invest in local strategic programs that directly impact the lives of people through the Decent Life Initiative, Haya Karima, encompassing almost four, more than 4,500 villages across Egypt. This initiative takes a holistic approach to improve the lives of millions residing in rural areas. That's the biggest development program worldwide in terms of scope, in terms of number of population, more than 59 million people are benefiting from the Haya Karima initiative in terms of the services that we are offering to our people, sanitation, clean water, electricity, internet, so all types of service in order to improve the quality of life of our people who are residing in the rural areas. The Decent Life initiatives and its programs has a significant impact on national development and gained international recognition. Well-deserved praise from international organizations like uh, the two prestigious platforms of the UN, the UN Goals Accelerator and the UN DESA. With the nation's choice at heart, Egypt's ambitions vision for fourth generation cities is also a strategic plan to reshape the nation's demographic landscape aiming to create more diverse and distributed communities across more than 17 new urban cities. These cities are designed with the future in mind. They incorporate sustainable practices like renewable energy, smart transportation, and green spaces. Additionally, they focus on offering high quality services like healthcare, education, and social services. This is also the guiding vision beyond our, beyond our new administrative capital, a project that embodies the collective dreams of Egyptians for an optimistic tomorrow. And I take, seize this opportunity to invite you all to visit our new administrative capital. Fifth, agility and dynamism are crucial to adapt to changing circumstances. Leverage new opportunities and optimize resource allocation. It is our firm belief that reform is not just about changing institutional arrangements, policies, systems, and procedures. It's a mindset, a mindset that demands constant attention and iteration. This is precisely why Egypt initiated its new economic reform program in 
2016, and then the new economic reform program in 2021, which is the structural reform program. This structural reform program focuses on two main pillars. First, focusing on the real side of the economy, agriculture, manufacturing, and ICT, to make the economy more resilient to shocks. And second, enhancing more the private sector to lead development efforts. These reforms reflected a sensitivity to public concerns and global transformation. In October 2022, Egypt took a significant stride towards redefining the state's role. The state had a major intervention between 2014 and 2021, but in 2021, after the structural reform agenda, we redefined the role of the state by unveiling our state ownership policy. The culmination of extensive dialogue, this is not the government's state ownership policy, it's the people's state ownership policy. It came out of comprehensive dialogue with the private sector, with the think tanks, and with the academia over several years. This policy represents more than just a set of guidelines. It embodies our unwavering dedication to listen to our investors and cult cultivate a vibrant business ecosystems. Integral to the implementation of the state ownership policy is our first sovereign wealth fund that serves as a crucial instrument to crowd in the private sector. It operates as a complementary platform facilitating increased engagement with the private sector and bolstering its involvement in national development efforts. We understand that clarity and predictability are crucial for attracting investment and driving economic force. And as a chair of the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Egypt, I share with you its vision, focusing on offering tailored solutions, streamlined processes, and dedicated support to address the specific ambition of our nation. Recognizing the cru crucial role of the private sector in achieving its ambitious green growth agenda, the government of Egypt has also taken several key steps to incentivize and enable the private sector participation in the green and energy sectors. We've adopted, for the first time, environmental sustainability guidelines that mandates all state and public institutions to be green across a variety of sectors with a percentage of 40% and reaching 50% by the year 24-25. Six, the sixth parameter is Egypt's national planning strategy goes beyond mere economic growth statistics. It recognizes the crucial role of capacity building of our human capital. It ensures inclusive development and local ownership of projects and initiatives by empowering citizens at various levels. Egypt aims to bring the gap between planning and action, leading to sustainable progress for all. In the dynamic world of public administration, our training organizations champion transformational leadership, empowering government officials to navigate complex policy landscapes, tackle emerging challenges, and spearhead creative solutions. And my colleague here, Dr. Saleh, is heading the central agency and making a great transformation in our public administration services. We focus on capacity building at the grassroots levels, equipping local governments and communities with knowledge, skills, and resources needed to translate the SDGs from aspirations to tangible realities. Ladies and gentlemen, I conclude by emphasizing that the strength of any plan lies not just in its design, but in the unity of purpose behind it. When people see their hopes reflected on their nation's aspirations, when institutions work together with communities and where dreams are nurtured with empathy and courage, true progress is definitely unstoppable. I encourage you all to consider how you can contribute to fostering unity in your sphere of influence. By working together with empathy and courage, we can definitely turn even the most ambitious plans into a reality that benefits all. Thank you all for listening.